Shall we begin? guys, how's it going? It's Chris from Brick and Mortar Brewing Company coming at you on this homebrew Wednesday with my first ever beer mail uh, review. I was very pleased to go to my doorstep um, a couple days ago and find that the drunken one, I will put his channel down below in the uh, description, um, went out and sent me two of his beers and some of his homemade hot beef jerky, which was absolutely awesome. Uh, you can definitely taste the depth of the peppers that he grows, dries, and crushes up and coats the jerky with. So very much appreciated Drunken One. Um, looking forward to getting into this uh, first of two beers. Uh, let's see, it is the double IPA. It looks like it's bottle conditioned. Um, it's been sitting out just for a little while to uh, come up to a little warmer temp than the fridge. So Let's crack it open and see uh, see what we get. Nice hiss on that. A little bit of foam jumped up. Let's give it a pour. Definitely got some good carbonation to it. Very lively. My apologies, everyone. I am not sure what happened there, but the uh, audio went awry in my video. So I had it all uploaded, edited, everything, and, pu and published it. And as I was watching it, um, from about a minute and 40 seconds till 4.11, there was no audio. So my apologies to the drunken one um, and to you guys. Uh, the beer, you know, some notes on it that I had were had a great color, golden copper, um, very, uh, very fizzy. It wasn't too fizzy in the mouthfeel because the, the malt backbone, I think, was, was uh, present enough. There definitely was a malt finish with a subtle hop bite, um, very citrusy hop profile. Um, not sure what the ABV was or anything on it, but... Uh, it's a pretty solid double IPA, so um, I really wish I could define what happened there, but um, I think the rest of the video should be good, so we'll go back to that right now. Um, not sure what the alcohol percentage is or uh, much more info than the fact that it's a uh, Imperial, but yeah, it's uh, definitely a solid effort on this one. All right, good job, Drunken One. And once again, I'll put his uh, channel link down below. If you haven't visited him, check him out. He's a pretty entertaining guy. He's definitely always happy. He has a hard time on his Manic Mondays being manic. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely entertaining and lots of good stuff going on. He's, he's into a lot of things. So um, I'm sure you'll find something of interest on his channel. Um, other than that, I brewed uh, yesterday, or not yesterday, um, Saturday for a little friendly competition uh, that was inspired on a Facebook page um, amongst 10 Wisconsin homebrewers. And so um, the, the contest was that you had to brew a style of beer that uh, used, also used a commercial candy and a spice. And so I brewed a brown ale and went and bought some of those Hershey's Take 5 candy bars. And I used some in the mash and then some at the end of the boil. And also at the end of the boil, I threw in two tablespoons of smoked paprika. So I'm hoping that comes out. It's a you know real subtle smoke flavor. It's not like using a smoked malt. Um, 
and I hope that the uh, sweetness of the you know natural paprika will also add that that uh, sweet pepper note to the brown ale. So I I'm hoping it'll be a good beer. I uh, I racked it on top of a yeast cake that I had from a porter that I brewed two weeks ago, and I was amazed. You know, I've heard things from other guys who have done, you know, racking onto a yeast cake, how fast fermentation starts. It was going within four hours of of, uh, transferring onto that. So definitely awesome. Um, I will do that again if I'm able to, you know, line up brew days. Uh, close enough together to uh, benefit from that so uh, other than that uh, coming up on April 1st I'll be traveling up north to Menominee Wisconsin to enter the first round of the Iron Brewer competition put on by Super Brewers Mr. Jake Wolstad that first round of that competition was a secret ingredient round which I think I've talked about in a previous video and my secret ingredient was pancake breakfast and so um what i did was you know i thought about it and obviously the the, you know obvious obviously the obvious answer is maple syrup but i went a little bit beyond that because for me if i'm going to sit down and have a plate of pancakes with a bunch of syrup i'm going to need something to wash that down and coffee is usually my choice so I uh, brewed a blonde ale with a biscuity forward finish, and once I transferred to secondary, I split it off into two carboys, and in one carboy I put four ounces of coffee beans, and in the other one I put two ounces, just to see, you know, I didn't want to be overdone and then not be able to back it out. So um, I tested it out, and uh, you know, in small taster glasses, and then added just a drop of some maple extract to see which one went best. And so I went with the two ounce uh, coffee bean addition. And then once I racked it over into the keg to carbonate, I added about a teaspoon of the Amaretti maple extract, which is some pretty potent stuff. Uh, On the bottle, it says that one and a half to three ounces of that will flavor 111 gallons. So I definitely didn't want to overdo that one. So half, half teaspoon increments, is what I did, and I think I'm up to um, two and a half teaspoons. So, and it's just about right where I want it to be. So, definitely looking forward to that. Looking forward to seeing Mr. Josh Secor, and also uh, Tyler from Everty Home Brewing is going to be there as well. So, um, I'm looking forward to meeting him in person. Even though I did get to meet up with him on Google Hangouts last night, so. That was enjoyable as well. Um, Big shout out to everybody who's watched the videos, commented, liked, and subscribed. And for those of you who haven't, would definitely appreciate some comments, uh, some likes, and a subscription. Uh, It'd really be awesome. Um, The YouTube or BrewTube community is a great group. And I'm totally just amazed at how kind of open arms they are you know about welcoming new people in so it's really awesome so uh till next time um actually at the end of this video i'm going to tack on some footage from two saturdays ago when i had a double brew day i brewed that porter that i mentioned uh, and i also brewed a hellas i have some video footage of the hellas brew part so i'll put that up with some captions on it and uh yeah hope you enjoy so Till next time, guys. Cheers. Check out the drunk, drunken one. Thanks again for the beer mail, and uh, we'll see you next time. Keep on home brewing and enjoying craft and home brewed beer. Take care, guys.